Hey guys, Suspawn here, and welcome back to part 4 of my Let's Play Stainless Steel Byzantium campaign. I ended off last video by taking Scopia here, and we are ready to move on towards Dyrachium down here, Greece. And before I do that, I will need to get a garrison up and going for Scopia, so I'm probably going to try to train. Here we go some troops from Thessalonica. A couple units of Conterratoi will do. And let's go ahead and move our diplomats here. Or at least check on them. I don't remember what I've done with them lately. Don't appear to have anything done with Genoa yet. Let me double check. I don't want to waste the turn with my diplomat here. Yeah. Nothing yet. An order. You have a See what we can't get people? here. Alliance, trade arts, map information, like usual. They are poor, which is better than very poor. So let's see if we can't get 2500. Let's see what that says. That's saying balanced. So let's go ahead and try that. I see Perfect. No they accepted. Here. So that's 2,500 more warrants in our pocket. Yes. And another ally. We're probably allies with about half the faction no, so far. But that will drop On significantly once we start expanding yeah, and the AI will inevitably understand. start expanding and warring amongst themselves. So we'll lose a, lose a couple that way. We'll have to pick between allies most likely. And it looks like I've built everywhere else that I can already. So my treasury is doing pretty darn well. I'm making over 10k. And those contributions fairly regularly from diplomacy help out quite a bit as well. And I've still got a diplomat up here. Yes, my lord. Try to find the Nov try to find uh Novgrad. Very good, my lord. We already talked to Lithuania. Novgorod should be right up around here-ish, I believe. Naturally, yeah, this is rebel territory here. On my way. So we'll head up in this direction. An order. I shall rest here, my lord. Our last diplomat is down here. We're just gonna leave him to walk on his own. Oh. Whatever. All it takes is a quick, a click, a quick click. Probably what I'm trying to say. Who knows? And let's see. It's up to 63 here, so I'm actually going to send a couple of these priests. Priests. Oh, sorry, my mouth is going to dry. To Scopia. And I'll just go ahead and train a new one to help uh, continue converting Sophie in the meantime. And I don't think there's a whole lot else I need to do. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a tiny bit more recruiting over here just so I have a couple more troops in place in case something does begin to go down on this front. Speaking of, now that I remember, let's move my spies. Investigating as you wish. And I should have another one up here who has moved already. Okay. Good. To 70. Yeah. Okay. It looks like things are going well over here. So I think we are good to go ahead and end the turn. Looks like we've got some competition for one of our merchants up here. We've got a Cuban diplomat in and we have something for you. I have a much better idea. Take that out. I'll give you an alliance. Map information. I don't need your map information. 
is very generous and they have modest wealth so we might be able to get a good bit of cash out of this. We're going to go for at least 5k and see what it says. Let's balance. So I think we'll go for that. I don't want to get greedy and uh, get rejected here. A well considered Ooh. offer, Sadi. Five thousand more florins. Seeing another ally. Our discussions come to a close. Now I am going to want to uh, take that castle the Cubans have near our territory, but I. I'll, I'll happily keep them as one until that time. I guess I'll go ahead, well, a little late now, but I'll go ahead and cut off the rest. Looks like one of our merchants is being uh, attacked here, attempted to, yep, it looks like it was acquired. Son of a bitch. There's a rebel merchant too, that's kind of pathetic. Um, I'm not going to take this, it's extra um, upkeep, and like I said, I don't want to go with dread necessarily. It's not early on when I'm trying to grow my settlements. Oh nice, and the council decides that I'm awesome and gives me 3,000 florins. Because I was not getting rich enough. Maybe it's to make up for my merchant being a loser. One of my bishops gained a little bit of piety, that's good. Some more troops trained here. Alright. So, let's see if the. Yep, looks like they can reach Scopia, so we'll send them there. Command me. Um, move our army Your out of the way. Yes! Good. And since Scopia is a castle, that garrison keeps them plenty happy. Yes, Lord. Now I think we'll go ahead and retrain some of our Kantaratoi here at Thessalonica if we can. I want to make sure. Yeah, good. We still have. Your order, still have order room one. for that. Yes. Command me. So we'll send them Onward. there. Noble Lord. Yes. Let's see. Probably just retrain two, and uh, take this other one here, and leave the other one to retrain. That way, I don't have to wait two turns to attack again. Your orders, noble one. Let me go ahead and move a little further of down course, here, my lord. and actually going to bring a fleet over just Your to orders. help lessen the movement points it takes yes, to my move my reinforcements to that army. And it might even be quicker to just take a fleet around Greece and then. Invade by sea, but uh, we'll decide that in a second. Go here. Set. And it looks like Scope is well on its way to converting. So let's go ahead and do some building. Durazzo, we've got farms or that land clearance built for it, so now we can start probably working on some military buildings as it is a castle. I think we'll go ahead and we need let's let's build the stables here. Corinth, we can actually build some. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and build this drill square here. That'll give us access to, access to Scout and Toy. Uh, earlier we get those available better. This guitar toy will only last you so long with any kind of competency. Knackle, we'll go ahead and build a Bowyer. Smyrna, we'll get a Ballista Maker because we don't have one of those yet. Sparta will get uh, stables. And Trebizond is good. We'll go ahead and give them one unit of Acrite. They have a pretty decent garrison here, strong enough that we can have some hope of holding against a uh, Turkish I attack unless it's a very concerted effort. We can't afford to pour too many resources into that as far away as it is from uh, the rest of our efforts. It'll just drain our ability to conquer in our heartland here, which is definitely our main priority. 
And I think I'm going to go ahead and do a quick save here. And, uh, oh yeah, check our diplomats, of course. Someone to see. Now, the Papal States really don't like us, so I doubt we're going to be getting an alliance, but never know. It looks like, uh, might actually be possible. I probably won't get a lot of money out of them, but hey. Let's see if we can get the 2500. Let's go for it. It seems eh, we what do you know? An agreement. Until next I doubt that one will last, but for now the Byzantines are allied to the Pope. Maybe the maybe the Great Schism will be healed. And we'll talk to Sicily next turn. If we get an alliance with them, it will be very much along the lines of our Turkish alliance. These uh. These lands in southern Italy and Sicily are rightfully ours, and are high on the list of priorities to be conquered. They're fairly rich lands. Naples is a great city. We have uh, Sister Syracuse down here, and Palermo and Barry are very good castles. Or at least will be by the time we get our hands on them, so. An order? For now, though, we need to focus on the matter at hand, and that's still direction, so... Go to our diplomat up here on its way to Novgorod. My lord. Very Let's good. follow these roads and hope that they oh, connect no. eventually. Skov, still a rebel here city, but we'll just continue Someone following these roads and we should reach Novgorod in a couple turns. Here, my lord. We'll leave this diplomat doing his thing down here. He's already on his way. But we will move our spy a little further Let here. Do, sire. I think we'll be able to see a little more if we go this way. A trace. Yep. So a little more of the frontiers are revealed here. I am going to Orders. bring Manuel Dantomitis, or however you pronounce that name, to... Uh, I want to be able to get back to the city. Can he come out right here? He can. Good. So he's going to go this way. March! Onward! One more square here. March. Okay. Build a watchtower. Yes. And head back. Building a watchtower. Perfect. Tower. And now once the spy moves on, I'll still have this area around here revealed. And I can put him a little further afield without losing the whole field of vision. Yes, my lord. I think that's everything for this turn, so let's go ahead and end it. Spy up here and went into Cuman territory on his own since we had him queued up. And there's Targo Vista, which is a stone castle, like I thought. And a lightly defended one at that. We should really snatch that up before the Hungarians do. Because they're our ally and it will be a pain to get if they get it. We'll have to either go uh, through diplomacy or bribery and neither will be cheap at that point. Alright, I think I'm going to... You know what? No, I'll decline this one as well. And... Oh, nice. I got a convenient mission to talk to Sicily, which is... Andy. Um, buy the Fatimids on the Crusader States. No, I'm going to stick with my alliance with the Crusader States for now. I was not going to stay on good terms with the uh, Fatimids for long anyways. Did I... Did I do that right? Yeah, I did. Okay. For some reason, my relations with the Papal State worsened, even though I supported the Crusader States against the Fatimids. Who knew? Maybe they think I'm budding on, my, on their territory by not betraying them? Seems legit. Koja, built a bowyer. So we're getting some more troop training stations up, which is good. So we'll go ahead and do our building first this turn. Get a land clearance on it in Scopia. We'll just build a leather tanner, I guess, down here in Arachnion. Let's see, yeah, yeah. Not, not a whole lot we can do there until it grows. 
tempted to actually lower the taxes there to increase the growth rate, but I like the money. And brothel here in Adrianople. Pretty decent recruiting ground. As good as it's going to get until we get to a stone castle. We will go for a bowyer at Rhodes. Now, I see you. You will get a grain exchange. Increase your cash flow a bit. We do really start out with a, it seems like a hefty majority of castles early on, so we need our uh, cities to make as much money for us as possible. And a stables here in Trumpsong. Order, one. I'm torn between going for Tugo Vista and making sure I get it before the Hungarians and going for Durazzo. I think I'm going to actually go for Tugo Vista for a couple reasons. First of all, as I already mentioned, getting it before the Hungarians is a priority and Stone Castle. But also, if Sicily takes Durazzo, I'm going to go to war with them anyways. So that's not really a problem. An honor to serve. So what I'll do here is I'll yes, send them in this boat. Send them to Kantaratoi here in this yes, boat. My lord. Order. And I think we're actually probably, it'll probably be fastest to go completely by sea here. Well, maybe not since those silly Turks are in the way. I might be able to get around that though. Yes, lord. Heading ashore. Not really. Eh. Noble lord. How many turns is it? Oh, it's okay. It's only two turns to walk, so we'll do that. I don't want to declare us, war man. yet, since we can't reach it. An and uh, next turn, we will give the uh, humans a declaration that we are going to, to cancel the alliance. And that means uh, we can also go ahead and make some demands on them, which will make this war justified in the eyes of the AI, so we don't lose reputation. That way our allies don't get pissed off at us and abandon us. Peace and farewell. Or make it harder to get uh, alliances and Noble by that uh, get money from people. So let's go ahead and talk to Sicily and get our warrants. And we'll probably just... Okay, we're not going to be getting alliance here, so we'll probably just go for trade rights. And see if we can just get that. We accept Barely this accepted. Proposal. Yeah, they Only don't like us. Right, this concludes our meeting, yes? I mean, they conquered these lands from us in the first place, so they know we don't like them. Yes. It's a pretty mutually hostile relationship. We'll go ahead and uncover Barry here in the meantime, oh, her diplomat, since he's in the region. Very good. There it is. Yeah, it's not oh, a stone castle friend. yet, no but very likely it will be by the time we get around to taking it. On my way. An order. Today's journey ends. Alrighty. I don't think there's a lot else I can do. I have my diplomat up here I can mess around with. There's a Novgrad. Someone to see. Novgradian patriarch, that's a good sign. Naturally, my lord. So we'll follow this road On here. my way. An order. I really think it's right up here. Naturally, my lord. Probably should have just kept following that room. That's not where I clicked. My lord. Getting a little laggy on me here. Lord. I think it's right here, basically. I shall rest here, my lord. Checking our diplomat down in this region. An order. Naturally, my lord. Well, the Turks are huge. On my way. They're just ginormous Today's at the beginning of this mod. Ends. Okay, good. We can just see the border of uh, Quarazm right here, so we are going in the right direction. Here, I shall stop there. Quarazm usually does pretty well, and then the Mongols come in and squash them like little bugs. My lord. So we very likely will see not a whole lot of them in this campaign. An honor to serve. Alrighty, I think we are ready to end the turn. Right, I forgot to move him around. No big deal. 
ready. Bride being presented. Let's go ahead and do our usual check. And yet again, it is not a princess of ours. Go ahead and accept. And we are being told to take Arda. Oh, it's Arda here, not um, Dairachi or Durazo. They must have renamed it. Or I'm completely remembering it correctly. Noble Lord. Anyways, we're going to stay the course. We have plenty of time to take care of that. And all would give us some military units anyway, so... Missing that would not be the end of the world. We have a new uh, royal son here. He's of the Kumnenid line. And we actually still have Alexius alive here, surprisingly enough, in Constantinople. One of the uh, great Byzantine emperors was the one to really restore it to uh, power and prestige after the disaster of uh, Manzikert in the ensuing civil wars. And though we haven't had to deal with it in our campaign yet, he was the Emperor in charge during the Crusades, which were actually called, in large part, due to the uh, Byzantines' troubles with the Turks. And it is being really laggy here, so I'm going to go ahead and restart the recording. Huh. Well... It's... Yeah, still being pretty bad here. This is... Okay, now it's... Seriously? Not sure why it's doing this at the moment. I don't have anything running in the background. I closed everything. And it was fine a couple seconds ago. It's, I mean, it's... Oh no. It's getting slightly better, but... Still not what I'd want that. Anyways, it looks like it's gotten to the point where it's playable, at least for now, so we'll yes, try to keep going on. Alright, and I will go ahead and take care of the humans diplomatically here. I'm going to cancel the alliance. Sorry, guys. Your ruler is without honor, then. Can I not do anything else? Really, that's all I can do with them this turn? So I might have to wait another turn before I... It has worked. Yeah, I'll have to wait one more turn before I actually launch my attack. Noble Lord. Because I have to Make demand up, something of them, but... Demand some payment or something, or and uh, threaten to attack. Which they should refuse. Anyways, on to building. I think we'll do a market for Thessalonica. Sophia will get garrison quarters quickly. Yeah, okay. Athens will get market. And Constantinople. What shall we build for you? Got a decent number of options here. So communal farming might be nice to increase the uh, growth rate, but there's other methods for that as well. Yeah, I think we'll go ahead and build uh, City Hall here. Gives an increase to law, health, tradable goods, so pretty useful. And it should give us another uh, diplomat slot, yes, I believe. Ma'am. And here comes the lag again. An honor. 
Naturally, my lord. Let's see if we can't find a Quarazum city. Good, my lord. Quarazum I shall arrest yes. here, my lord. Might just be easier here to say first. I shall stop an order. Naturally, my lord. Noble lord. Very good, my lord. Oh, come on. Where are you, not Naturally, proud? Naturally, my lord. Well, there's a road, at least. On my way. An order? Continue back up along Italy with our diplomat over Very here. Very good, my lord. And there's Ancona. Naturally, my lord. Held by the Papal States, it looks like. Oh my gosh. <sighs> okay, that's better. Stay like that. Your orders, and number one. Do our spy before we forget again. There we go. It looks like Ankara and Iconium are lightly garrisoned, so we should start preparing for an offensive on this end of our empire as well. Let me go ahead and get some uh, recruitment started. Wow. I really need some better infantry recruiting grounds over in this half of my empire, that's for sure. Here we go. Nothing fantastic at the moment, but we'll at least get some forces together that can take on those small garrisons. And we can really just use General's bodyguards for cav at this point. At least for our heavy cav force. We have plenty of extras in the area. And... Noble Lord. Yeah, we can't do anything here this turn. So let's go ahead and do a quick save and end the turn. Okay, yet another General. I think I'm going to take this one. He's pretty good. Quite loyal, got some chivalry, we can get him some more piety. 20 years old. Oh, we're back as the strongest faction again. So all that recruitment uh, bumped us up a little bit. Another royal son here. Okay, here it comes. <laughs> <sighs> nope. No luck. Damn. Okay. Yay for fraps. I'm working my way this direction. <laughs> Give me another 30 seconds and I'll be where I need to go. Okay, um, slightly better. We'll see how long it lasts. I may cut this episode off soon just because of this lag. We'll see though. Go ahead and get garrison quarters here. Didn't look like we had very many places to build. Um, definitely garrison quarters here. You are previously noted lack of infantry training centers. Same for Sparta. There we go. That's the building. Let's take care of the diplomats. Hopefully, okay, there we go. No roads, unfortunately. That's frustrating. Nice. We should be able to get another good chunk of cash out of this one. Let's try 5,000. See what it says. Balanced? Alright, let's go for it. Well considered. Now, Corazon could be an ally we actually I keep accept. for a while, especially if they end up being aggressive against the Turks. It would be quite useful. Very well. Ma now, there is the chance that they will join a jihad against me, which 
will probably be declared once I start taking uh, back these territories in Anatolia, if not sooner. And that will be quite the ride. Alright, let's go ahead and go to our diplomat up here. And we will demand 5,000. Well, we want to make it pretty ridiculous. We don't want them to be able to pay it. 15,000. And accept or we will attack. Very demanding, as it should be. Rejected. Now we will wait one turn, and we should be justified in attacking, I believe. Yes. <laughs> in a, in a simplistic AI terms. We've made demands, threatened attack, and now we get to attack. An honor. And I'll hail the lag. Naturally, my lord. I don't see it here. Who sees? Eh? Very good. Alright. We'll find something. Is this area? Okay, we're gonna try here. Lord. On my way. I am an order. about to... Today's journey ends. Oh, no. I don't know. We're going to find it eventually. I shall rest here, my lord. <laughs> here, I shall stop there. The hidden city of Novgorod. Often sought, rarely found. Noble lord. Or something. Naturally, my lord. Something else suitably poetic. Very good, my lord. <sighs> Go ahead and assemble some of these forces into an army. Land me. Yes. Orders. Onward. Yes. Orders. Let's see. My Any own. of these generals here in Adrianople have not been to the Hagia Sophia yet. We'll send that way no. for the piety bonus. Looks like any anyone who's at just three is probably lacking it. So. Your orders, noble. Who do I fight? All three of these guys will go there for at least one turn. Yes. Your Majesty. Orders. Move out. Yes. Your Majesty. I think we're actually going to send all these guys just here. My lord. There we yes. go. We need some more archers in this grouping. A good day's march ends. Command me. Orders. Yes. Move out. Oh. We continue. To We're wandering through I Turkish know. lands. Hopefully they don't mind. And if they do, well, you know, we're not going to be friends with them for much longer, anyways. Yes, Lord. Alrighty. Quick save. And end the turn. Alrighty. Uh, we're once again going to reject the Theologians Guild in Constantinople. Seljuks reclaimed their title as the strongest faction, just barely. As long as they keep that strength way over in the uh, Middle East over here instead of Turkey or Anatolia for us, then that's fine with me. Quite a few buildings done, but we've got a lot of cash to spend, so it's not a big deal. And cross your fingers, but we appear to be staying lag-free. Alright, we'll go ahead and build the, um... We've been delaying land clearing, so we need to build that. Leon. Just go ahead and build some roads, it's whatever. Give you a logging camp, which supposedly decreases the cost of wooden buildings slightly. I don't know if these actually have any effect, but we've got the cash. Leather, tanner, and tailor for Smyrna. Brothel for roads. Nicaea, we'll get a market. Kojia, we'll get... Leather Tanner and Taylor as well. And same for Trebizond. And we'll give them a unit of Mounted Acrate just so if we do have a battle we can chase down Riders. And 
now for the main event, let's go ahead and besiege and the Vista. With God's blessing there and yours, we, we march to battle. Without question, we shall begin the siege. It's going to do the usual siege equipment. Oh, wow. Um, we'll just do ladders. Because apparently I don't have enough construction points to do two rams, two towers, and two ladders like I have been doing. So. My lord, we await your order to a strike. For some reason, the uh, Cubans don't like me. Oh well. Your order Most of their holdings are way on the other side of the Kiev and Russ over here, so... That's not a large loss. We will engage them honorably, my lord. Is it time to assault the walls, noble lord? Hmm. Yes. Not a lot else for us to do at the moment. I guess uh, yeah, let's keep looking for the hidden city of Novgorod. Yes, my lord. On my way. We found some. Oh, I thought we found a road for a second. Here we are. Noble lord. Road. Roads lead places. Very good, my lord. Not uh, like into rebel territory. Awesome. Very good. Well, like, seriously, is it further up here than I thought? I have really no idea. I will figure this out. Alright, well, we've already gone up there, so we'll follow the road this way here. And hopefully we'll run into it next turn. Zoom back out here. Oh, we still got some diplomats to move around elsewhere. My lord. Do we have a mission? Right, take Arda. Naturally, my lord. We'll head this way and we'll talk yeah. to France and the different Spanish nations, I guess. And An order. honestly, he can start heading back this way. We don't need him over on this side of All things. Here I shall stop there. There's not really anyone else over there besides the Quarazmians and the Cumans, and, well, we've Today's pretty much set our stances on both of them already. Let's go ahead and quick save. And I actually think I'm going to end the episode here. It's gone kind of long, but uh, next episode we will have the battle for Targo Vista, and possibly even the battle for Arda down here, and we will continue preparing for our offensive in Anatolia. So thanks everyone for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you next episode.